Hello, this is Ed Chapman, and this video cast is going to focus on density-dependent inhibition and a disease everybody knows about, cancer. All right. Um, central to this idea are growth factors, and growth factors are signal molecules that are known to speed up cell division. Uh, for example, if you are growing cells in a culture, uh, this, this jar here is the standard type of model that you grow human cells in. All right, it's basically a fancy petri plate with a screw-on lid here. And what you do is if you add some cells to the culture, like say you want to clone some human cells, and you give them some food, okay, and you give them some growth factor, they will grow, and you'll get what's called proliferation. Proliferation, okay, lots and lots of cells growing if you give them the growth factor, all right, because growth factor is stimulating them, stimulating them to go through their cell division, all right. If you don't give them any growth factor, you just have your cells and you just give them food, you may get a little bit of growth or no growth at all, depending on the kind of cell you're trying to grow. All right, now, why do cells stop growing when they completely cover the bottom of this little dish? All right, so if you notice, if you put some cells in here and there's plenty of space between them, what'll happen is these cells will proliferate until they form a single layer over the bottom of the container and then they will stop growing. And if you scoop some of the cells out, then they will grow around the borders here to fill in the hole, but then they'll stop growing again. So what's happening here <coughs> is that these cells have to anchor themselves. So the first thing they need to do is they need to find a surface to attach to. Uh, human cells don't like to grow floating suspended in a solution. They like to be touching something. So for this reason, they have something called anchorage dependence. All right, so as long as there's plenty of places for them to stick, in plenty of space, they'll grow. All right, so the other thing they need is space. So anchorage points and space stimulate them to grow. And what's happening is that these cells are growing until they touch. And when they touch, they stop growing. All right, now scientists believe the reason for this is when the cells get crowded in a single layer, um, the concentration of growth factors goes down and there's not enough growth factors to, to support the continued proliferation of the cells. And so they slow down and stop growing. All right. So when cells get crowded, they stop growing Okay, for two reasons. They lack new anchorage points, and there is reduced concentration of growth factors, those two reasons. Now, cancer cells no longer hear the in inhibitory cells, in excuse me, the inhibitory signals that cause anchorage or, and or density-dependent inhibition. Okay, now I put the word here up here in uh, quotation marks because cancer cells obviously don't have ears. But what they're doing is they're they're not receiving a signal, some type of signal. And scientists believe that this signal is either a signal having to do with anchorage dependence or density dependent inhibition. All right. So cancer cells basically are able to continue growing beyond this single layer situation and form mounds of cells. Uh, even looks a little bit like a tumor. So here's here's some nice, well-behaved, non-cancerous cells here in this picture, and here are some malignant cells, some cells that are growing out of control and forming a lump. All right. So we would call these cancerous cells, and we'll call these normal cells. All right. So cancer cells have lost their anchorage and density-dependent inhibition. All right. For some reason, they have lost the ability to respond to a control signal. Now, what exactly is cancer? Cancer is actually a disease of the cell cycle, and specifically, it's a problem with the control of cell cycles. All right. So cancer cells either don't need growth factors anymore, they can make their own growth factors, or some other mutation has taken place in, in the genes that make signal molecules and or receptors, okay? All these things can affect whether or not a normal cell becomes a cancer cell and grows out of control. Uh, just to get some vocabulary out of the way here, um, normal cells transform into cancer cells. And there are lots of different reasons for why a normal cell would transform into a cancer cell. We're gonna pick that up later on in the course, but the words benign and malignant are good to know. All right, benign cells are cells that have transformed and are growing tumors, but these tumors are not spreading. The word malignant is reserved for cells that are growing abnormally and spreading. All right, so this spreading is called metastasis. Okay, so if, if cells are spreading or metastasizing, then we officially can say that this person has a cancer. 
All right. Now, probably one of the more familiar cancers, uh, if you've been paying attention in, in the last 20 years, is breast cancer. And breast cancer tumors start in normal breast tissue. All right. They start out small and they grow. And if they metastasize, the first place they're going to spread are going to be the lymph nodes near to where the tumor started. So, for example, if the tumor is in the right breast, like we see here, the first place a cancer um, doctor or an oncologist is going to look is they're going to look in the lymph nodes under the arm um, near the, the breast that has the actual tumor in it. And if cancer cells are detected in these lymph nodes, then you get moved to another stage of breast cancer. And uh, of course, one of the treatments for breast cancer is to remove the tumor, okay, do something called a lumpectomy, and do a lymphectomy to remove the, lymph, the infected lymph nodes. And there are all sorts of tables and statistics about how many lymph nodes they take out and how much the tumor has spread. It's all very scientific. But if the cancer cells have spread to the lymph nodes, um, that's, of course, much worse. And, can't, and doctors, of course definitely want to catch uh, breast cancers or any cancers when the tumors are small and before they've had a chance to metastasize or spread. All right, we'll stop there. Thanks for listening.